In this question, we're asked to use linear regression to find the equation for the linear function that best fits the given data. And we're told to round to two decimal places and write the equation in slope-intercept form with the form y equals mx plus b. We will also find r, the correlation coefficient, as well as r squared, the coefficient of determination, rounded to four decimal places. Using the T84, the first step is to turn the diagnostic tool on so that we are given r and r squared. To do this, we need to go to the catalog and select diagnostic on. We press second zero for the catalog, and we can scroll down from here to diagnostic on, or we can press the D button, which is this button here, which brings us down to the Ds, and then we can scroll down from here. Again, we are looking for diagnostic on, which is here. So we press enter, and then enter again. Now, when we perform the linear regression, the calculator will give us r and r squared. If your calculator does not show r and r squared, your diagnostic tool is not turned on. And now we enter the data by pressing stat and then enter. Notice how there's some old data in L1. To clear this, we go to the top of the column, press clear, and then enter. And now we enter the x values in L1 and the y values in L2. Right arrow to L2, and now enter the y values. It's worth double checking these values because if one value is off, we will not get the correct regression equation. And now we go back to the home screen by pressing second mode for quit and perform linear regression. We press stat, right arrow once to calculate, option four for linear regression. On this screen, because we have the x values in L1 and the y values in L2, we don't change the first two rows. In the third row, we are not using a frequency list. We leave this blank. In the fourth row, we could store the regression equation in, for example, y1, but we don't need to for this question. We simply go down to calculate and press enter. And now we have all the information we need. Let's first identify the regression equation in the form of y equals ax plus b where a is the slope, which is equal to 24, and b, the constant, which is the vertical intercept, run into two decimal places, is approximately 56.67, which means our regression equation is y equals 24x plus 56.67. And now let's find r and r squared, run into four decimal places. Notice r is the value on the bottom. r to four decimal places is 0 0.9978, and r squared to four decimal places is 0 0.9955. So let's go ahead and write these down, and then talk about what these mean. Let's first talk about the correlation coefficient, often referred to as r. The value of r is always in the interval from negative one to positive one. The sign of r indicates the direction of the linear relationship between the two variables. If r is less than zero or negative, there is a negative linear relationship between the two variables, and therefore the slope of the regression equation is negative. If r is greater than zero or positive, like in our case, there is a positive linear relationship between the two variables, and the slope of the regression equation is positive, which we can verify from our results. Notice how r is positive, and the slope of the regression equation is also positive. The magnitude of r indicates the strength of the linear relationship between the two variables. If r is equal to zero, there is no linear relationship between the two variables. If the absolute value of r is approximately one, then there is a strong linear relationship between the two variables, and if r is equal to one or equal to negative one, there is an exact linear relationship between the two variables, which means every data point falls exactly on the regression line. And now let's talk about what the coefficient 
of determination indicates. The coefficient of determination, or r squared, is always in the interval from zero to one. And it measures how close the data values are fitted to the regression line. It measures the proportion of the variance in the dependent variable, or the output, which is y, that is predictable from the independent variable, or the input, which is x. And again, r squared is always in the interval from zero to one. I hope you found this helpful.